morning and welcome to Styling Insights with Sally Jess. Um, I am actually the founder of this amazing community and I am so blessed to have so many, I think we're nearly up to 1.2, so 1,200 um, members in this group, which is amazing. And without you guys um, and contributing to this group and me sharing my expertise and knowledge with you, um, it wouldn't be what it is. So I am um, so forever grateful for having each and every one of you in this group. Please remember to share with your friends. We would love to build this community up. Um, my goal is um, in the next six months to reach 5,000 uh, members in this group. So if you uh, think that you've got a friend, family member, work colleague that would be interested in this group, um, invite them to this group. We would love to have them in here. I see we've got a couple of people watching. So hello, whoever's watching. Thank you so much for joining me. Just pop in the comment, um, give me a hello or a wave. I always love to know who's actually on live with me. Um, okay, so today's topic, I wanna to talk about your home office space or your workspace within your home. Um, you know, there's so many people that uh, are now leaving the corporate world and actually working from home, whether they're becoming entrepreneurs, creating their own businesses, or even um, that they've actually still in the corporate world, but they're able to work from home. So, which is amazing opportunity too. So, um, you know, we spend so much, I know for one that I spend a lot of time in my, my beautiful office and, um, you know, school drop off to school pick up. I'm in here um, working um, in my business and on my business. So um, I want to be able to be creating valuable content. I want to be, um, be able to be producing the best possible um, information and um, sharing my expertise with you all. So that comes from within create, creating an environment in my office that's going to um, uplift me and help me get through um, making a productive day. You know, that's from content writing, that's from um, currently um, putting together my um, home essential styling program. I'm creating coaching packages. So that is all from my office space. And yes, we do get, sometimes we do get overwhelmed within our um, space and that. So that's why we need to make our office space to, um, you know, like even introducing in um, energetic colors. So like reds, um, my office, I know my screen uh, room dividers behind me um, are green, but you can't see it, but around the top of my uh, roof, I have a red trim. And behind this screen is a black cube shelf that has red um, decor accents and black accents as well. So, you know, it's bringing those things in um, that are gonna give you that vibration, that high energy that you actually need to have to be productive in your office because like you're in this these four walls for a set amount of hours a day and you want to make sure that you're producing and putting out the best possible content programs and all that stuff um, to your clients. Once again in here I have um, I've got a couple of crystals here I have crystals um, I have um, one of the beautiful cards from Diane McKendrick's um, Oracle cards so I have one of these ones in here and that's um, Pixie of Identity. So, you know, that's me. You know, I've got that sitting on my computer saying, you are an identity, you are well worthy, you are um, the best who you can possibly be. So putting things in your office or even in your home for that matter, that's going to give you that uplifting. You know, I have motivational cards from the beautiful Belinda Chapman. Um, be kinder to yourself. So, you know, like there's one there, I am enough. So just having these reminders around in your office is going to help you to be more productive and serve your community too. Um, I have, you know, I've got oils. So I'll pop on some oils. This one here is um, 
the balance and that's a grounding blend so being grounded within your work area as well is also another um, thing that we sort of really need to look at to make sure that we're producing and we're being productive um, so also I go on a lot of zooms I do all my work through zoom so you know I originally didn't have this background and then one of my business coaches says you need to get rid of all that you need to make it simple and sort of easier on the eye for people who are coming on your zooms or if you're joining a zoom um, so I do now I do is I, I'm when I'm on calls, I'm actually not only listening to the person who's talking, but I'm looking beyond as well, beyond past them, because that also gives me an idea of who, um, you know, my potential client is, what they like, what what um, their home environment's like, how do they want to create their home environment, or for instance, their office that we're, we're talking about today. So I was on a call with one of my um, mentors yesterday and she has just um, white walls. There's, there isn't anything behind her. So it's bringing in something that's going to brighten up your background as well and um, make it, it doesn't have to be, you know, full on and busy. These two, these behind me are just room dividers, $45 from the reject shop, right? So we don't have to go out and spend um, an enormous amount of money to present our background. Um, this here is actually an outdoor Buddha from the Reach Shop, $15 or something. Kmart's little um, cactus plant, $9. Uh, the candle, Kmart, seven bucks. And I've got, just utilized something, a stand that I had in my bathroom that I no longer needed in there. So I've utilized it down here in the office. So we can, we don't have to go out and spend money to create a beautiful background behind us. We can just shop at home and pull in a couple of pieces that we've already got. Um, you know, you see those virtual background screens. So every time somebody moves, you know, the hand might get lost into it or they're only showing half a face because they've turned their head. So, you know, creating um, a, a reality background as well in your office opposed to those um, virtual backgrounds, some of them are absolutely amazing. Um, but try and reflect it to who you are as well because you're, you want to be show people who you are talking to, who you really are, what you like, and even, um, you know, putting in your branding for your business. So in my uh, masterclass slides and my program that I'm creating, I've actually got in a background on some of my slides, palm tree leaves, because that's, this is where I come from to do my lives, to do my presentations, to do my masterclasses, to do my events. So people start connecting as well um, with what you have as your branding too. So, um, yeah, just creating that space in your home office that's going to help you get through the day. Put things in here that uplift you. Um, you know, look at this. Cooper, my nine, uh, eight year old, he built this Lego tractor and he says, this is for you, mum, to put in your office. So, you know, it's even putting in reminders of what, why you were doing what you're doing. You're doing it for your family. You're doing it for yourself. You know, creating that business um, to to sort of leave a legacy for your family as well. So having, you know, once again, having things in here that are meaningful to you as well to help you get through your day too. Um, I know we're sort of more talking about the business and, and pulling it all together and that, but I think it's really important that I share this with you because I do, you know, I do get on a lot of... Um, I do attend um, um, events. I do attend, um, you know, group coaching calls with some of my amazing um, mentors and business coaches. So, you know, it's it's creating um, that that space that's going to uplift you. And you don't want to because you would look. You can actually see yourself when you're talking. So I'm now looking at my background, and that's what people are doing as well. When you're on a Zoom. 
um, or in a virtual room, they're actually looking at your background too. So creating that. Now, um, I did see we get a couple of more people that have jumped on. Please, I can't see comments. So if you could just pop in the comments, um, you know, hello, if this was actually valuable to you as well. Um, if you have a question that you need answered, I'm more than happy to answer it. Pop it in the chat box or even go into the group and just put a hashtag question and pop it in there. I love to interact with you. So um, yeah, pop in that you're here and um, tell me, comment below, value if you found this valuable. Um, even if you're watching the replay, hashtag replay. Um, yeah, so that's, I know it's still interior decorating. It's still um, helping you create that space that is going to give you, again, an emotional connection to, to what you're doing, to who you are. So, you know, I'm creating my emotional connection to be um, with, with my um, clients, to be, I want to present that it's a relaxing um, space and a safe space that we can connect on Zoom. So, you know, bringing in that subtleness as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this um, insights today. I will be back next week for a new insight. If you want to discuss a topic, pop it in the chat below and I'm more than happy to um, bring that next week i don't really have like an agenda that i actually talk of i sort of think in the morning what shall i talk to my um community about today so i just want to add value to this group add value to these um insights and just um be there for you guys so please any questions i'm only too happy to help if you want to have a chat um we have a 30 minute home style strategy call that we can jump on to where you you may need some just that little bit of advice or guidance on something that you're stuck with that I can actually help you with um, yeah we also have the business page so if you not join the business page I'd love for you to come and join that that's the stylish home decorator and that's about it for me today I will talk to you next week at the same time with a new topic um, hope you have an amazing day and we'll talk then bye for now